One of the most controversial issues within the Catholic Church today is the question of the new Mass, or Novus Ordo Mise. It is this question that we are going to explore in this video. This Novus Ordo Mise, or New Way of Saying Mass, was introduced in 1969 by Pope Paul VI. The liturgist in charge of elaborating the new rite, Archbishop Anibal Bunini, made it clear that the main intention was to design a rite able to enforce the new ecumenism adopted by Vatican II. He declared in 1965, quote, We must strip from our Catholic prayers and from the Catholic liturgy everything which can be the shadow of a stumbling block for our separated brethren, that is, for the Protestants." Unquote. To accomplish this ecumenical goal, he solicited the help of six Protestant ministers. In the new rite, man has become more of the focus, not so much God. The priest and faithful gather for a meal to share with one another Christ's loving presence. This desire to create a man-centered liturgy has produced noticeable changes, using vernacular languages, introducing mass facing the people, and equating the laity's role with that of the priest. Even the Blessed Sacrament has been removed from the visible center in the church and is now often reserved away from the main altar and out of view. Also, many abuses have been introduced, such as lay Eucharistic ministers, communion in the hand, and altar girls. Even Vatican II's instruction that Gregorian chant should be given pride a place is ignored. The consequences of these changes have been, among many others, a shocking reduction in the number of religious vocations and a decrease in weekly attendance at Mass. Sacramental confession as an important preparation for receiving the Eucharist has also steadily declined. The traditional Mass, on the contrary, focuses on the worship of God and the true sacrificial nature of the Mass. The Catholic Church teaches that Jesus Christ, through the priest, offers his body and blood to his Father in atonement for all the sins of humanity. Holy Communion is a consequence of this sacrifice and allows men to receive the effects of the sacrifice of reparation. The use of a sacred language such as Latin for the worship of God, the many signs of respect and adoration to show our loving submission to him, the unique role of the ordained priest who takes the place of Christ at the altar, a reverent and humble reception of Holy Communion, kneeling and on the tongue, the awe-inspiring sacred chants are all indicative of how the Mass directs us to God. A return to the traditional form of the liturgy has consistently produced an increase in vocations, a better attendance at Sunday and even at daily Mass, a more frequent use of the sacrament of penance, and overall a heightened awareness of the sacred, sacrificial nature of the liturgy. The traditional Mass and all of the doctrine that it conveys is the means for a true restoration of all things in Christ. For further understanding and insight on this question, we recommend reading Problem of the Liturgical Reform or obtaining the short leaflet Why the Latin Mass, which can be found at angelispress.org. For a detailed analysis of the new Mass, we recommend reading Pope Paul's New Mass by Michael Davies, available at angelispress.org. Another great source we recommend is to read The Mass of All Time by Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre, also available at angelispress.org. To learn more, go to sspx.org and subscribe to our email list.